exciting. What's up guys, it's Bash here, coming out with my ARG deck, um, first place at the Missouri ARG tournament. So, I was running um, Extreme Battlers, and to start, I'm just going to start off with my Strides. So, the meta, so just the uh, regular stuff, so Corvicto Plasmos, just for the option of restanding. Then I run... What's his ability? Um, I don't know. His ability is to do Persona Blast, two more in G Zone, Counter Blast two, and then you get the you get the restanded, but it loses Twin Drive. But okay. Pretty good for a G unit. Um, next, I run one, two, three. Meteor Kaiser Victim. Uh, when this unit attacks, hits. You stay in the unit and give a plus 5k. Um, during the time this tournament, the fire collection came out. I had the option to run tribute, which was uh, whenever something stands due to an effect, I get counter blast one and kill it. But I felt that the deck didn't really have enough counter blast for that, so I decided to go with the three victims. Just for pressure. Yep. Um, next, I run one Blizzard, just for just to try and get to GB2 if I no, feel like I can't stride anymore. But, but most of the time when I did, I felt like it wasn't really necessary. But it's just a good backup. Now for grade threes. Um, I run one, two, three, four Raybirds. Um, Raybirds just for the on stride effect, the uh, plus 5k, making your um, stride unit attack for at least 31. And next I run one, two, three, four Victors. Um, his skill on ride, counter blast one, and whenever you Unit attacks or G unit attacks, you stand a unit and give a plus 5k. Um, it works really well, it's good. And GB2 is when he attacks, he gets plus 5k and stands something plus 5k, so that's nice. Um, most people that built that play this deck tries to go for like either riser, goes for the riser variant where they run four mega flares and four victors, or one victor and four risers, but. I felt like focusing on Legion kind of slows the deck down a bit and it gets rid of the key cards you have that you want in your grade 2 lines and where you have to replace it with cat butlers and the bait. So I decided to go for something simpler. What sort of can you do the uh, second ability of Vic, uh, Victor with uh, the Resander? No, you can only do it once per turn. Which is still nice. So like, oh, it is. So, grade twos, I run one, two, three, four Hanks. Um, Hanks go when he's boosted, count blast one, stand a unit, give a plus 5k. Uh, then, next, I run the best card in the deck. One, two, three, four Stanzas. Basically, whenever he's stand it just get plus 5k and since mostly everything in this deck stand give us plus an additional 5k so it's a free 10k free stand yeah and next I run three um, extreme battler gun zork um, 12k g break poker attacker um, why the 12k attacker um, I felt that the deck really needed to make numbers so it can hit so that uh, when you're attacking the vanguard it actually matters uh, most people tend to run most people tend to just replace these with like the um, riser mate the dual flare riser in the build but the problem with this dual flare riser doesn't work with Victor on the field and this thing just works just you can just attack it with unboosted which is nice yeah. um, not many there's other options but this is just the ones i find the best great ones all right one two three four extreme battler the um, stride fodder for Victor, and when you place it, you get the center of Victor. Very helpful. Next, I run one, two, three, four Lady Cyclones. 
the the G perfect for when it's, when you have a cop in the drop zone, you unflip one. It's really nice since this deck just has a lot of counter blasts, and you don't, I didn't really care about Dope or Laurel because mostly I could pressure them enough to where they can't do it or where it, it, it's pointless for them to actually do it. Yeah. So, um, next I run one, two, three, four, final wrench. Um, when this unit, when a unit in this column stand, when a unit in the same column as him stands, he gets a plus 4k. Um, and next I run one, to Claydol, when he's placed on rear guard, I unflip. Um, I chose to run four of the wrenches instead because it unflipping damage is nice, but I kept running into Claydols too early in my hand, and it, it does really does nothing since the deck never counter blasts early. Plus, final wrench just is good for making making numbers, and it's good and it stays and it has some purpose on the field for longer games. Four heels. Good. Four heels. Just, just four heels. Let's be, the last guy ran twelve crits, I think. No, no heals, but just adds a random factor. But I run one, two, three, four, ten crits. Ten crits. Yeah. What an unusual number. Ten crits. Uh, the reason I run ten crits is so I can throw in two stands and not just any stands. Energy girl, which is a really good stand because when it when this unit boosts at the end of any attack. You basically just stay in a unit for free and throw her back in the deck. Uh, the reason I chose to run two stands because I wanted to focus more on the crits and the stand trigger was something I wanted to draw in at later games if I feel like I don't have enough counter blast to stand stuff. Yeah. And also, even if I do hit a stand, it's more unpredictable for my opponent because they think I'm going with either six stands or six crits. So, and they don't really notice that and let the Vanguard hit most of the time. Yeah. And so, that's why I run what I want. Plus, this deck really doesn't need draw since the draw is originally for Novus, just like so you can just cycle stuff for more attackers. But now with Stride, you can just recycle like a grade one or three for more stuff. And I run one Rumble. The, the best um, starter for Nova Grapplers in general. Well, unless you're playing Ashura or something, then it's useless. Yes. But, but what does he do? Uh, when it's something in the same column as him stands, he he stands with it. So very good. You want showing us an ideal field? Um, ideal field, mostly. I would have him on the side, and then this is like, and then I just rush with a bunch of ones. It doesn't really matter what. It's on. Right, right, right. Well, let's say you're at grade three and you're going to push for a game. What's your ideal deal field for this thing? Because uh, Novas are field, you know, very field based. You know, more like darker regulars or whatever, very vanguard based. So let's see what you what you got. Like, if I had an ideal field, it would just be that. Uh, stanza, Hank, Greg, and then there's two great ones actually. You know what? You want you want get let's get super broken and just do that. Yes. And for sure, and let's say I just somehow have like early field and then late game field just going to that. Yep. So basically 14 attacks, victory scale plus 10k, that's 24. Put triggers on this thing. Attack. Attack. Stand this again plus another 10k or something. Ugh. Then attack. Then attack. Then put this back and stand this thing for like a, something over 50 maybe. Yeah, you've given it uh, plus 25. Not including triggers. So like it's 49 without triggers and then a bunch of other and triggers just makes it better yeah yeah that's pretty evil uh pretty cool yeah all right plus, plus there's also like 
most most of these cards just serves as like a damage spun, so your opponent thinks they can just eliminate rear guards early and then that just works. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I can just, I was gonna just put that guy there and makes 21k column. That's true. Doesn't matter. Everything makes a column in, with Bumble, so that's my that was my focus. The card is the same column as. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, His so ability would go off. Yeah. Shit. 21k uh, column. 21k yeah. column. 21k column. Just, yeah. So like I have like 12 cards that make 21k columns. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Pretty good deck profile.